All right, guys. So today I'm gonna be showing you how you you can create or you can join custom Bedrock servers on Xbox, Switch, and PlayStation. So what you want to do first is I'm just gonna log out of Minecraft real quick, and then I'm going to go to my settings on my Xbox, and then what you want to do is you want to go to network settings, and then you want to come down to advanced settings. And then you want to go to DNS settings. Right now your DNS settings should be set to automatic, but we're going to be switching it to manual. And your I, your primary IPv4 address can be one of two things. I'm going to put the two things on screen right now, but I am going to be using 173.82.100.84. and 84. That's going to be my primary IPv4 address. You can use the same one or the other one. does not matter. Your second IPv4 address can be one of three things. And I'm going to be putting 1.1.1. But you can, be, you can use any one that you like. Alright, now once you have that set up, you should be good to go. And all you want to do is you're going to click the B button. And it's going to check your connection. And it's going to say it's all good. So now what you want to do now is you just want to... Go back into Minecraft. Alright, Minecraft is now loaded up. So what we're going to do is I'm going to click on the play button and we're going to go to servers. And if you look, there is still no add server button. But if you look, it says join to open server list. You're just going to join any one of these servers and you're going to hit the join button. And then once this loads up, it's going to bring you into a uh, menu that you can log into. Now it says connect to a server. I already have this server down here and I have titled it AMC because why not? Um, and But to connect to a server what you do is just click connect to a server and your port is going to say the same and you're going to type in the server address right here and you can put the server name where it says optional and you want to click this add to server list because it adds to that server and you don't have to type this in every time and then you're just going to hit submit when you're done but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on this button we're going to load in and it's going to put us right into the server once we log in alright and there we go we are now in the server Alright guys, now I'm on my Nintendo Switch, I'm going to be showing you how to do the same thing on the Switch. So what you want to do is you want to go down to your system settings, and you're going to go down to internet. Once you go to uh, internet, you click on internet settings, and go and find your network. Or, and then you're going to click on your network, and you're going to click change settings. Once you're on change settings, you're going to come down to where it says DNS settings, and just like the Xbox, you're going to click on it and change it from automatic to manual, and you're going to change your primary and your secondary DNSs. I've already done that. As you can see, it's the exact same thing as the Xbox. I have 173, 82, 184, and my secondary DNS is 1.1.1.1, but you can use any of the three that I mentioned before. So once you've done that, you're going to click save, and you're going to click OK. And then you're going to click the home button, and you're good to load up Minecraft. Um, so yeah, once you're logged in, you're going to click the play, and you're going to come over to servers, just like you did before. And you're going to click on any of these servers onto the left here, and you're going to join the server. And it's going to bring you into a menu um, where you can join any server with um, if you have the correct IP. Alright, so now once you're in, you're going to click connect server. It's the same thing I showed you before on the Xbox, but I've already have it loaded up, and you're just going to click on the play button, and you're going to launch into the server. And there you go. Alright, so now let's hop over onto the PlayStation. Alright guys, so we're on now back on the PlayStation. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go to your system settings, and go down to network. Once you're on network, you're going to want to set up your internet connection and you're going to either want to use Wi-Fi or a WAN cable, depending on what your setup looks like. On this screen, you're going to want to click on custom because we're going to have to change our DNS settings. Alright, and now once your PlayStation has found your network, you're going to click on your network and you're going to wait for it to load. 
All right, and now once you're on this screen, you're going. Uh, it says IPA address. You're going to want to set your IP address to automatic. Your DHCP, you're going to want to do not specify. And on your DNS settings, of course, it will say automatic, but in this case, we're going to switch it to manual. Now, I've already done it, but you are now this is where you are going to change your DNS settings to any of the ones I have specified before. And I'm going to put them back on screen so you can see them one more time. Your primary DNS can be one of two things. I went with 173.82.184. Your secondary DNS can be one of three things, and I just went with the easiest one, 1.1.1.1. Once you're done with that, you're just going to click on Next. And then on your NTU settings, you're going to want to set that on automatic. Your proxy server, you do not want to use. Once you get here, all you have to do is click Test Internet Connection, and you've got to wait for the PlayStation to connect to your internet. And once you've done that, you can now get on Minecraft.